The Challenge of the Yukon. On King! On you, Mariners! The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police. Law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. King had been injured in a fight with timber wolves, and as Sergeant Preston was on patrol duty, he had left the dog with some friends, Terry and Beth Clark, in their cabin at Silver Point. It was afternoon of the day on which Sergeant Preston had promised to return. Beth Clark was giving some final instructions to Lucan, her Indian cook. Here, Lucan. I've made out a list of the supplies we need. Give it to the factor at the trading post. He'll help you load everything onto the sled. Mm. Have you hitched up the team? Uh, me do. You better get started so you'll be back home before sundown. What's the matter, Lucan? Me not like make trip now. Well, why not? It's a nice day. The trail's packed hard. It's early it's this like... morning. Look on hunt. Shoot rabbit. <laughs> well, I know. But we can't live on a steady diet of rabbit for the next two weeks. We need bacon, flour, coffee, Me and not stuff. mean that. When look on hunt rabbit, me go near Chinook Indian camp. What? What see there? Plenty bad. Chinook? You mean that... Drink fire water. Make bad medicine. How, how can the Indians get whiskey? There isn't a trading post in the Yukon that dares to sell it to them. Chinooks not buy firewater. White man give to them. White man? You mean renegades? Mm. That's why Lucan think maybe best he not make trip. Stay here. If Chinook go on warpath, not good you be here alone. I... No, you go ahead, Lucan. King is here with me, aren't you, boy? And Sergeant Preston is coming back today. I'll be all right. Maybe better you go up to mine. Stay with Mr. Clark till him come home. Oh, why, yes. Yes, that's a good idea, Lucan. King and I'll go to the mine and wait for Terry. Mm. Me go now. Oh, I think Lucan's borrowing trouble, talking about Chinooks on the warpath. Well, we'll go up to the mine anyway, hmm? How about it, King? <laughs> I can do us good. Little I strap on my snowshoes. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with you if I ran every step of the way. Oh, Terry must be working at the end of the chair. Terry! Oh, Terry! There! What are you doing up here? Oh, Lucan went to the post to get supplies, so King and I decided to take a hike. Good. I'll finish work in about an hour, and we'll all go home together. Sergeant Preston will be there for supper, won't he? I hope so. And I know that King... But Terry, where'd he go? Who? King. He must have gone into the mine. See, he'll get hurt again. <laughs> Don't worry. All you'll find at the end of this shaft is there's a wall of solid rock that I've been picking at for the past six months. Oh. He'll come out in a minute. Oh, I, I'd hate for There anything. he is now, right behind you. What? How could he possibly... I mean, I didn't see him come out of the shaft. I guess he's too fast for you, Beth. There's no other way out, is a boy, huh? <laughs> Terry, did Luke Hunt tell you about seeing anything unusual while he was hunting rabbits this morning? Seeing anything? Uh-huh. What do you mean? Well, I, I, I don't think it's important. Wait a but... minute. Well, what's wrong? Look over there. Just the side of the ridge. Well, it's a big crowd. Of... <gasps> Chinooks. And if I'm any good at reading Indian sign, they're on the warpath. Well, that's what Lucan said. Some white men have been giving them whiskey. No matter what caused it, we've got to get out of their way. I'll get my snowshoes. We'll head for the training post. Oh, Terry, they'll burn our cabin. That's better than burning us. Well, couldn't we stay here in the mine? Too dangerous. The mine won't stop half a hundred Chinooks when they're loaded with whiskey. Come on before they spot us. All right. King will break trail for us. Come on, boy. <laughs> so good. I don't think they've spotted us. Look, Terry. They're not going toward the cabin. They're heading south toward the river. Yeah. Wait. I think King's found something. Look, 
sled tracks. Leading back toward our place. Oh, thank heaven. Maybe Sergeant No, this is our sled. I can tell by the runner marks. Lucan. He's passed here on his way home with the supplies. Yes, and if the Chinooks find him, they might... Beth, you go on to the post. What do you mean? I'm going back. Try to find Luke. If you go back, so will I. Be sensible, Beth. Go on to the post. Worry myself to death? We'll stay together, Terry. All right. There's no time to argue about it. Come on, King. How about it, Joe? Take care of Luke, huh? Uh, me get him good. Knife and back. All right. You jabber this Chinook, Lingo. Tell a couple of those drunken redskins to drag him away from here. Uh, where? Any place. Behind that clump of pine trees down the trail will be all right. Hola, uh, Washka. Akemi. Hola. Seung. Rahela. That's better. What we do with dog team? Keep him here? Why not? Be a good piece of bait for Clark and his wife. We burn cabin? Oh, not yet. That'd scare him off. She decided to pay dirt in his claim. No, savvy. Come on. I'll show you. Now, give me a match. Almost dark. Time to light the lamp. window. Now, come on. <laughs> Why you laugh? Yeah, just thinking. A lamp in the window means somebody's waiting for you. That's what we're doing. Waiting for a gentleman lady named Clark. Light. Lucan must be here. Yeah, I guess the Redskins didn't see him. Oh, funny he didn't unharness the dogs or take the supplies off the sled. That's not like Lucan. Terry. What's wrong? Look at King. He acts as the... See, he won't stay here. He's heading back toward the post. King! Here, King! He brought us home. I guess he figures his job's done. Maybe he thinks it's time for the sergeant to show up. Let's go in and ask Lucan. Lucan! Lucan! Where is he? He isn't here. Sled's outside, the lamp's lit, but... Something's wrong, Terry. It does seem kind of queer. That it just, just... Oh, oh, Terry! <clears throat> Quick, close the door. Oh. Terry, you're hurt. Just crease my shoulder. The lamp. Blow it out. Hurry. Yes, sir. There. It was a trap and we walked right into it. I don't understand. They must be in those pine trees, the other side of the clearing. Wait until we made targets of ourselves with the light behind us. Who, oh, Terry? Who's trying I to get... I don't know, but I'll bet it's not an Indian. This is no red Indian trick. The safest place for us is up at the mine. We've got to get out of here, head for the mine. But how can we? Back door. They, they don't know about that. If we can make it, it's, it's dark enough outside. Come on, Beth. Your shoulder, Terry. You've been shot. You've been... for that later. Right now, we've got to run. Keep your head down, Beth, and Run! Yes, King, I'm glad to see you. Well, what are you doing out here on the trail? I thought you'd be waiting at Terry Clark's cabin. Well, what is it? What's wrong, boy? Hmm, that deserted Indian village and the report that Mort Bracker and a half-breed are in this facility isn't so good. Up in front, King. I'm King! I'm your man, you... So this is what you were trying to tell me. A war party of Chinook Indians in front of Terry Clark's mine. We'll leave the team here and see what's the trouble. Terry's trying to hold them off, single-handed. We're outnumbered if we try to... What is it, King? You mean... Well, yes, boy, we could circle and come up behind the ridge, but that wouldn't help us reach Terry. Well, all right, you know this ground better than I do. We'll try it. Lead off, King!
I'm afraid you guessed wrong this time, King. We're too far away from the mine to... Wait! King! Well, I'll be... A natural tunnel under this overhang, and it must lead... Well, go ahead, boy. I'm right behind you. Beth. Can't hold them off much longer. Oh, Terry, why is this happening to us? What have we ever done to cause Here the Indians... Here they Chinooks. The answer is right over there at the edge of the crowd. But I can't get him under my sights. What? I mean, who? Renegade white man. Name's Mort Bracker. I've seen him in Dawson and Circle City. But I never thought he'd go so... What's that? Sounds like a dog. Behind us. What? That can't be true. Nothing back there but the end of the shaft. What? Why, it's King. King, how in the world did you get... Private entrance, Mrs. Clark, what? but I'm glad he found it. Sergeant Preston! Sergeant! How did you get in here? I'm just as surprised as you are, Terry. All I did was follow King. There's a tunnel from the outside ridge that cuts into a cross drift to a main shaft. Well, well, I'll be. Why, King must have used it before, but we didn't realize it. Can all of us get out that way, Sergeant? These drunken redskins are moving closer all the time. With Mort Bracker egging them on. Mort Bracker, eh? That all adds up. But. How did you know? Well, I've been trailing him and a half-breed called Kovac Joe. They're both out there. Look. Hmm. Can you see them? I'll handle them later. The important thing to do now is to get out of here the same way King and I came in. Lead off, boy. <laughs> Blasting powder. Evidently, Mortbacker wants to be sure Terry and you aren't still alive in that shaft. Do you think he'll come back here to the cabin when he finds out that he I'm didn't... sure of it. He'll want to burn the cabin, wipe out all traces, and then blame it onto the Indians. Why? Why does he want to get The murdered? idea is to steal a gold claim, one of Bracker's favorite tricks. Oh, then he must have murdered Luca. And we'll find out. <laughs> Quiet. Someone's coming. King has their scent. <laughs> You're under arrest, Bracker. The Mounty, I'll show you. Ah! Oh, my arm. I got a slug in my arm. Come on, Joe, we'll run for it. After them, King. I'll go with you, Sergeant. No, stay here, Terry. The sergeant's after them, but it's two against one. Not with King. He's equal to three men on a fight like that. King, up on the other side. You're in the middle, Bracker. Better give up. Take him, King. Get him off. That's enough, King. I've got him covered now. Up those guns and reach, both of you. All right, we got him up. I'll turn around and start walking. You're both going to headquarters, and the charge is murder. Now march. You've done another good job, boy. <laughs> yes, King, old boy. Thanks to you, the case is closed. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Al Neal speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.